Hi, this is <coughs> this is Trade Pass. Excuse me. I'm going to do my top five t cartoon characters. Um, I saw Ali Walker's uh, list the other day, and I wanted to do my own. And at first, I did a video, and I think I kind of did the wrong thing because I kind of picked all like superhero things, but I want to pick cartoon characters. Okay, rather than you know, I think my original list kind of skewed to more towards superhero things, and, and I do have some. Um, I guess you consider a uh, uh, superhero in, the, in my list, but I, I think I, okay, I thought about it and <coughs> finally got my final list. And here we go. Okay, number five, Thunder the Barbarian. Okay, he was a, of course, a barbarian. He was set in the future. <coughs> he broke the bonds. And he teamed up with Princess Ariel and uh, Ukula the Monk. I think that was Ukula the Monk. And they, you know, they fought in the future against all these great supernatural villains. And he had his fabulous Sun Sword. Of course, he was a blatant ripoff of Conan the Barbarian, but I didn't care. Thunder the Barbarian was so cool. I used to watch it every Saturday when it came on because I thought it was had a great intro and just a great, great show. So you know, I loved it. I loved his adventures. In the dis well, not distant past. It was in the in the future, where after the nuclear war has ravaged the earth, where science and sorcery and all that other stuff, and it's really a fantastic show. Definitely, uh, well, I don't know if that's on video, DVD or not, but I would love to get that. That's a great show, Thunder of the Barbarian. Number four is, which I picked up a few weeks ago, Underdog. I love this show. Uh, uh, my humble and lovable shoeshine boy. Took a super energy pill and became Underdog, who had some of the first of all I had a great theme song to it, which is always a must for a, a cartoon character having a great theme song. And then plus he had the greatest villains: Riff Raff, Simon Bar Sinister, uh, uh, just some great villains on the show, and great. So, and it always ended in like a cliffhanger, which made you want to see more of it. And so Underdog would be number, my number four cartoon character. I love this guy. Okay, now. Number three would be the Herculoids. I love the Herculoids. That was a show that came out in the '60s, and they, you know, they showed the repeats in the '70s and '80s when I was growing up. In the '80s, I used to watch that all the time. And the Herculoids, you know, they were on a, I forgot the name of the planet they were on, but they were like a cave dwelling family uh, with uh, the mother, the father, and the young son, and they had all these supernatural these uh, creatures. The only ones I can remember right now is Gluk and Gleep. Okay, and they had the, this like big like cave look, look like a monkey, a giant monkey, who was real strong. And then they had the like the dra flying dragon who had the eye beams and the tail beam. And then you had like I guess it would be sort of like a hippopotamus, well, like like a rhino. He used to shoot these energy bolts out, and they used to you know protect their planet against alien invaders who used to come to their planet and always try to take over. And, thun and they used to uh, not thunder. <laughs> uh, they used to, the family, I forgot the, got the father's name, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank on the father's name, and and the, and the mother and the, 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 the young son, and they were friends, of course, with these supernatural creatures, and the, and they would protect their planet, and it was some great adventures, and I actually, I love that show. So that's my number three. Uh, number two would be Gargoyles. This is the Gargoyles, the movie, uh, Here Was Awake, and do one video. That's how long ago I got this. I got, I forgot what store I got this from. I think I got this from a blockbuster originally and I think I was at the store looking at DVDs and stuff and they kept playing this show on a loop this particular movie on a loop over and over again it's so much so that I got distracted me that I had to I just picked it up look it looked interesting to me now this show is basically about these gargoyles that were like in the Scotland in the 14th century I think and we used to protect the humans but they got betrayed by one of the female gargoyles and they got turned into gargoyles during the daytime, and then at night they would, you know, come alive. And their castle got, you know, I think they were, fro what, I I no, what happened, I think, is they got frozen, they got cursed, and they got frozen for like over 500 years or whatever, however many years it takes between that 14th century to the modern times, I guess 80s when this came out, or 90s when this came out, and, you know, the curse got lifted, so at night, you know, they come alive, okay, at daytime they're frozen, and they teamed up with a human detective, and Goliath was the leader, and first it was, it was a fantastic show. They had some of the greatest villains on the show, and the gargoyles themselves were great. David Keefe, I think, was 
you know, Keith David, I'm sorry. Keith David, he voiced it, uh, and you know, if you know uh, Keith David, the actor, he has such a great voice, and he voiced Goliath, okay, and he was the head of the Gargoyles, and they teamed up with a female detective, and they fought against the uh, female guard, Demona, I think that was her name, Demona, who was the Gargoyle that betrayed them, and they, you know, they fought against her and other villains, and the artwork was fantastic, the voice work was fantastic, they had a lot of people from Star Trek, the next generation that was on this, the guy that played David Xanatos, who was like the the guy who bought the castle and brought it to New York, uh, he was voiced by uh, Jonathan Frakes. Uh, you had Maria Beatrice, I think that's the name, Deanna Troy, she played Demona. And you had a lot of other characters, I think even Michael Dorn was on there one time, Patrick Stewart, I think even. And a lot of great voice work on the show, great animation too. And the first couple of seasons of the show were great, until it got kind of watered down when they it moved to ABC, I think. And then they, they did production on it, wasn't as great. I think the original creators left, I think, so it got kind of watered down, but it was a fantastic show. Uh, I loved it, absolutely loved it. It was one of my absolute favorite uh, cartoon shows ever that was on. I used to tape it, because it's coming at 3 o'clock, and I'd come at home and work and, and watch it. It was fantastic, especially the first couple of seasons. It's fantastic. Anyway, uh, and Goliath had a kind of a relationship with uh, the female human detective. Okay? So that was a good show. Okay, my number one choice for top cartoon character is, drum roll please, uh, the Flintstones. <laughs> uh, no surprise for me. Uh, the Flintstones, I grew up with the Flintstones. The Flintstones was just a great coat. Fred and Barney, and I know a lot of people, I, I think I saw it in a Mad Magazine one day, that the Flintstones were basically a ripoff of the Honeymooners, but I didn't care. Uh, the Flintstones was great. Fred and Barney, Stone Age, <laughs> lived in Bedrock, uh, Wilma and Betty, their wives, Pebbles and Bam Bam, the kids, uh, you know, Dino and uh, the Hoppy, I think, were the, their pets. And it's just, just a great show. Everything was was stone, <laughs> and everybody had a name like, uh, you know, they had Rock. They, they, I, they didn't have to change. I think they did call them Rock Hudstone, right? Cary Granite, just all everybody. And they had the, the appliances that would talk back to you, you know, that would say these funny sayings and talk back to you. They had, you know, Fred running with the, with the feet to power their cars. And just, they had great guest stars on the show, great singing on the show. They even did a couple of movies. A Man Called Flintstones is one of my all-time favorite uh, uh, animated movies of all time. It's just A Man Called Flintstones, great songs in that as well. And uh, it, I don't know how long it lasted, but it was just a fantastic show, The Flintstones. Uh, it was actually, you know, even the crappy movies they tried to, to make could never equal, you know, the cartoon genius that was Hanna-Barbera, okay, doing Fred and Barney. And stuff. It was just a fantastic two best buddies. You always get into all kinds of schemes and stuff. It was just a fantastic show. Everybody probably seen the fun shows, and you can just agree that's it's just my ultimate favorite. You know, okay. It's just I loved everything about it, even though Barney's voice changed over the years. I think, <laughs> okay, but uh, I love the show, and it's just a fantastic. And they had you know kind of spinoffs like Pebbles and Bam Bam, and and, and even I think Fred and Barney. But I think after the original. A guy who did Fred's voice, I think he passed on, and then they had some other guy do try to do Fred's voice, and it was never the same. Okay, so that's why I love the original Flintstones. Okay, and it, it was a fantastic show. So that's my uh, top cartoon show of all time. A few honorable mentions, I think, would be uh, uh, Space Ghost, which I loved. Okay, and uh, uh, The Impossibles? Yeah, The Impossibles. Uh, you know, the singing group that became like heroes on the side. I love those. I love Scooby Doo. Okay, uh, not the Scrappy Doo. Those are the Scrappy Doo. Those are awful. Okay, and not the ones where uh, even the one with Vincent Price. That was awful too because they had that they had, they had that annoying sidekick on that show. I, I only love the original Scooby Doo. Where are you? Uh, when they had the guest stars on it, and when a pup named Scooby Doo, which is a great a great show, and then now the more modern one that they show now, uh, I think on Cartoon Network. I think. Not on Cartoon. Is it car yeah, on Cartoon Network, the more modern one. Uh, I love that. But and then the realistic movies they kind of made later in the uh, made, made, made in the, uh, in the I think a few years ago the you know the one with the witch and stuff and uh, and on the ship with the pirate ghost and, and then the, them being on the haunted island for real. I think those were great and the video game one as well. The later movies that they made were really quite good. So, but anyway, that's my. Uh, Top five cartoon characters. Thank you again, Ali Walker, for, for inspiring me to make this video. Okay, so anyway, let me know what your top five cartoon show, uh, cartoon characters are, I guess. 
Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. This is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.